for all the people how they said I wouldn't make it. I just wanna show you that I'm here and I'ma take it. Recently I feel like I've been having revelations. All I need is God and I'm good, baby. Training at the East Coast Mecca, which is Bev's for those of you who don't know today. With Rishi, we're gonna hit some back, and I think he said something about doing deadlifts, so I definitely need to get a little bit more food in than I normally do before the gym. So I'm gonna be extra basic. I'm just gonna have one packet of this, and I don't know what else I'm gonna have. I had some coffee. I'm gonna have something else with it too, because I'm gonna need the energy, but I'm gonna have this and then figure out what else to eat before we go. All right, so I decided we're gonna do two slices of this turkey bacon. It's got really good macros. It's two fat and three protein for two slices. Then I'm gonna have one of these like Target brand light string cheeses. Same thing, it's like seven protein, less than one carb and two fat. So this, 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 and the oatmeal, which is cooking in that pan, is gonna be breakfast and then we're gonna head out. We just pulled up to Bev's, but we are going to wait for Rishi to get here. He only lives a few minutes away. So we're all going to warm up together. We're going to get a really good warm up in. And then I think we're starting with deadlifts. And then we're just going to do like a bunch of supersets of some back stuff for machines. I mean, machines for back stuff. I don't know why I like can't talk when I turn the camera on. I feel like my brain just like stops working. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait here for a few minutes until he gets here. We're going to finish our pre-workouts. This is just the... Um, what is it, PE Science, the high volume mixed with Alphamine. So we're going to have that, and then we're going to start everything. So let me finish my pre-workout, and then we're going to get started. Just put your arms right here in your back pockets. So if you go down, you can down, because you're going to try and put it in your back pockets and push. And again, arms are strapped, so you're not going to bend them. That's what it is. If you bend it, it puts all your pressure on the right side, so it's going to make your straight line. That looks fucking perfect. Surprises, but the goal and the motto is to never be blinded. So the night. 
is young Take my hand It's all good Don't be scared You see the stars I'll take you there But first, baby girl I need you to drop it low just kill that workout we are dead like I've never trained that hard in my life I actually say that every single time I train with Rishi and then he just makes me work even harder the next time but I love it so we are at Bear Burger which is like this organic place they have all different kinds of burgers you pick your meat you basically build it yourself I'll show you guys what we get these sprout buns and then do the gouda mm -hmm. with lettuce tomatoes mm -hmm. and dill pickles Picture up. Yeah. Right. Like, honestly, bro, tell me that doesn't look like a really nice, healthy food, food. Doesn't it? I'll tell yeah. you, I feel great, right. man. Looks super legit. I feel fucking great, man, because I was like expecting to look like fucking. Oh my god, dude. It does, it's got a very distinctive taste, too. Mm. Yeah, you can taste like difference. It's not like it's not like say bison and a regular burger. You're like, okay, there's a little different. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Oh. So we just got home. It is eight thirty-ish. We left the house this morning to go to the gym at eleven thirty, twelve. Yeah, around twelve. Around twelve. So we got to the gym probably twelve thirty. Started training, really training after a warm up. Figure like one o'clock. Which means we've been out of the house for the entire day. We trained so hard today though. We did, first of all, I have never like properly or really even ever done sumo deadlifts ever in my life. And I got up to a plate for a working set. I think I got five reps on that. Pretty clean, I think. Felt really good. I, I don't know. I just, every time, I say it every single time, but every single time we trained with Rishi. And even, even now, when we don't train with Rishi, like, my lifts just get better and better and better. I just, I push myself so much. He just, like, you know, people say, like, it finally, like, something clicks and you just, everything makes more sense. You're willing to work harder. You're willing to push yourself. You're training harder. It just, like, everything changes. And honest to God, like, since we've met Rishi, not even just in the gym, but, like, so much has changed in our life. And it's just, it's, like, amazing. It really is. He's... Matt and I were actually just talking on our way home. Like, we are so lucky to have met, like, such a good friend, such a good person. You know, they say, like, once in your life you meet someone who, like, changes everything, and it just, it's, like, the best feeling. And, like, we were lucky enough to have that twice. First when we met each other, and now we met Rishi together. It's just, he's just one of those people. He makes you want to be a better person. He makes you want to train harder, work harder, do better in everything in your life. And I think that... We really take that with us in everything we do now. Excuse me. And I, I mean, we like we really just can't thank him enough for everything he's done for us and just for being such a good friend and teaching us so much. You know, he literally taught me how to deadlift today. And if he would have said to me six months ago, like, all right, we're going to deadlift and you're going to work up to a plate, I would have been like, okay. If you would have said to me six months ago, like, are you ever going to compete? I, honest to God, probably would have been like, eh, probably not, you know? And now it's like... We're working towards this show that's going to be happening either, you know, late spring or early summer like we spoke about. And it's just, I don't know, it's like such a good feeling to just work so hard and be like such in such a positive spot in your life and be happy with yourself and the people you have around you and stuff going on. And I'm totally rambling now, but anyway, what I meant to say, aside from all that, was just that we got home... A lot later than we thought, and Bear Burger was so good. If you have one around you, definitely check it out. I had the Elk Burger. Elk is really good. It's like, it's super lean. It's super, super good tasting. Try out Elk or Bear Burger, whichever you can find first, because really good. But since we were gone for so long, and that's really the only thing we ate besides like a small breakfast before the gym, 
and then we sat in traffic for a while on the way home. I'm just going to have some of this like Trader Joe's soup and then we're going to finish up some work, jump in the shower and call it a night. Tomorrow was supposed to be like a rest day, but we both decided that we're going to do some ebbs and cardio, maybe throw in a little bit of arms tomorrow morning. And that'll be that. So we are going to end this video off here. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.